What's up guys and welcome to the next episode of the Cracker Pack series today opening up one of my favorite packs to open which is 4th edition. Uh, I like going back to these old school packs even just the feel of the pack itself is different. The card quality is very different. Uh, whether it's good or bad I'll let you guys decide. Uh, what we're going to do is go through this like it was our pack 1 uh, in a limited format. So we're going to try and determine what our actual first pick would be if we were drafting this set. So. That being said, there might be a few cards we skip over if they're just clearly not going to be the first pick. But our first one is Sarah Angel, which is a very, very classic card, a 4-4 flyer uh, with that costs 5. It also has Vigilance, so it doesn't tap uh, when it attacks. <coughs> Animate Artifact is an interesting card. I'm not going to go over this one because it definitely doesn't beat out the Sarah Angel, uh, but it's definitely good. Ornithopter, everybody should know about Ornithopter. The 0-2 for 0 with flying, a great card, definitely awesome, definitely not good enough to beat Sarah Angel. <clears throat> Dragon Engine, uh, this is a great card, so it's a 1-3 three for 3, and you can pay 2 to give it basically fire breathing, so plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. I really like this card, uh, I don't think it beats the Sarah Angel, but I will say that it goes into basically any deck, which is fantastic, so definitely in the running. <clears throat> uh, Goblin Rock Sled. One and a red for a 3-1 goblin with trample. It can't attack the defending if the defending player has no mountains. It does not untap during your untap phase if you attacked your last turn. Not good, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> the Ar Amro Kithkin, excuse me if I'm getting that incorrect. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for 2. No creature with power greater than 2 may be assigned to block. Uh, so it's definitely evasive, but definitely a bit slow for limited. Pestilence, 2 and 2 black at the end of the turn. If there are no creatures in play, bur bury Pestilence, which basically means put it in the graveyard. You can tap 1 black and it deals 1 damage to all creatures and all players. I actually do love this card because it's basically an anytime kill spell. Uh, but I don't think, I think I'd rather have the Sarah Angel over that. Uh, Death Ward, regenerate target creature for 1 white. Definitely not. Twiddle for one blue, tap or untap target land, artifact, or creature. Again, definitely not. Uh, Bird Maiden, two and a red for a one, two with flying. Um, not better than Sarah Angel by a long shot. A two, two for three, not better. Um, Merc Dwellers, two, two for four when attacking and not blocked, not blocked, excuse me. It gets plus two plus so until end of turn. A good aggressive card, but at four, that's definitely a little slow. Uh, <laughs> Pikeman, a 1-1 one, one for 2, it has banding, and first strike, not better than the angel. Circle of Protection Green, and Marsh Gas. Uh, all creatures get minus 2, minus 0 until end of turn, not beating out Sarah Angel. The classic uh, White Flyer, definitely a strong, strong card, and definitely going to be my first pick. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.